folks, very good morning. Here we are. We've arrived at work. We've just had a bacon roll from Baines. Really, really good roll we get from Baines. Nice, juicy bacon roll. Bacon's always soft. You know, that sort of crispy, hard way you get with some bacon rolls. And the roll is just one of their morning rolls. And you get plenty of butter and tomato sauce. And it's £1.90. Fantastic. And I get it for half price, of course. Right. We've arrived at work, folks. Um, Tuesday, often a very quiet day of two halves. Quite a quiet afternoon. Well, we get about 80 people in, in the hall today, if we're lucky. So, um, yeah, it's just a very quiet sort of afternoon. But then at night time, at night time, we get uh, about three or 400 people. So it really is a day of two halves at the bingo. Yeah, just very quiet in the afternoon and then running around daft at night. So here it is. You get just, it's funny, you get like uh, the regulars coming in at this time of day, always the same people. I can guarantee you who's in there. Joyce, Joe, um, Rose, her mother Rose, Myrtle, there'll be Diane and Alison. You, see, you can't just know exactly, and I know exactly where they're going to be sitting. So here we go. Carrie. Carrie. Red 17. Sun just before we go to work. We've got these. These are wine gums, but they're called mocktails. Okay, so they're a little bit different from your, from your normal wine gums. They've got a bit more of a, a smooth taste to them. They're a bit strange. They're a bit more opaque. I don't know if you can see it on camera. Like they are a little bit more opaque. As you can see there, look. And they're sort of different colours. They're sort of like this cherry red. There's lots of red and yellow ones, as you can see, folks. Look. And... Um, but they, they taste, they've got a bit more of a tang than a wine gum. I don't think they're different than a, than a wine gum. I don't think they're as, they're as good as wine gums, but you know, they're, they're not too bad, man. So we'll give this, the mocktails, we'll give them an eight out of 10 on the sweetometer. Thank you. Folks, good afternoon. You find me here in the car park from hell. Yes, there it is. Cars flying around everywhere, especially at this time uh, where it's four o'clock, and this is the the most voluminous time for traffic. <laughs> the most voluminous time. What am I talking about? You know what I mean, folks. You know what I mean, right? We're going into Iceland to get some of those fries that I like. That um, you know, the skinny fries with the, uh, the skin still on them and we're going into um, the coop, the co-op to get an onion. Right, here right. they are. Steve, hello. Who's the other girl? Uh, that's, my name's John. John. Oh, is it John? I thought uh, I called you Steve. John Krupian. Oh my lord, I've been calling, oh, I've been calling the wrong thing. John, John, I'm ever so sorry. That's okay. Right, John. And I've got a couple other folk in their car as well, so I'll probably get their names wrong as well. Right, there we go. Cheers, well, man. Who are in the coop, look. Three pounds, three pounds for the, for the, uh, the Pringles here, man. Three quid for a tub of Pringles. It's crazy. <laughs>
Oh, folks, it's a disaster. When I was down in the shops, I forgot to get the fries, the fries that I like, man, with the skins on them. I forgot. It was John's fault, because I was talking to John. He distracted me then. Ah, so I got my onion, and I got my bottle of wine. Oh, there's nothing in that one. That's an empty one. That's, that's one I had earlier. <laughs> and we're having, there's the burgers. Plus these home fries, these home fries, they're big thick ones. I'm not too keen on them. They're okay, like, but... So that's going in the oven for 20 minutes, and we're going to chop the oven up. The oven up, we're going to chop the onion up and fry that. And Rosie bought me a present. Coffee! Excellent. Now, folks, the nation's favourite sound was voted as wine glugging into a glass. I think it was red wine, because red wine's got a sort of a, a deeper um, constitution. <laughs> And it uh, makes a more more of a glug noise. But I'll try the white. See, see what the nation's going on about, shall we? Here we go. There's the glug coming up then. Yes. Yeah, so well, that was more of a sort of a, a, a trebly kind of glug. It wasn't really a very bassy glug, was it? So that's maybe white wines like this treble of the orchestra and the. The red wine, the velvety red wine, is more like the bass, you know, the undercurrent of the orchestra of drink. Whereas the white wine is the treble. It's the cymbals and the treble and the um, the high the high instruments, you know, the ones that... Tss, 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 that sort of thing, you know? So there we are. Crikey. Right, folks, it's a disaster. Yeah. We've realised there's no ice cream. There ain't no ice cream, man, so... We need that for our chocolate puddings after you've had a burger. So, we're going to live along the road and get some burgers. No, we're not getting burgers. What are we getting, Rosie? Ice cream. Right, well, folks, I've been entrusted by Rosie to get the ice cream. I've got to get cart door, which is the good stuff. No cheap stuff, the good one. Cart door. I right, can't, Jake, can do this. Folks, it wasn't in the coop, so I know it wasn't in the. Uh, it wasn't in Iceland, so I've been told I've got to go to the coop and we'll get it in here. Hopefully, there we go. Yes, <clears throat> excuse me, I'm about to start that again. <laughs>